Hello and welcome to ThingLink. In a world where we can feel completely overwhelmed with information, it's really important that if you yourself are presenting information to your colleagues or a wider audience, that you make this as easy to access and as simple as possible. With ThingLink, you've got the perfect solution to enable you to do this. And I've got some examples and tips to help you. So to get started, I've had a think about how I want to present this information. I've got 12 topics and in each of my 12 to topics, I created video lists or playlists. Now, of course, before I might have had a text-based document or a PDF with individual links on that you might have clicked, which of course is difficult um, because if I wanted to update it, it would have been out of date and it's not very visually engaging. So I've created this background template or a base image using something called Canva. And I've split my 12 topics up into 12 boxes, each of which has a clickable icon where I've embedded bookmarks of videos using a tool called Wakelet. But this simple background base image is really easy to create using something called Canva. You might wish to use a Google slide or a PowerPoint slide or even in a Word document and then download that as an image. Here you can see you have a number of presentation templates and it's really easy to clone one of these, make your own copy and then edit it in a way that reflects the subject that you want to present. Then you would upload that into ThingLink and you can start adding your interactive hotspots with the information that you wish to share. Here we had a collection of over 20 different types of thing links that we wanted to share with our audience as a celebration of 2020. And we also wanted to personalize our presentation. So here we created this background using Canva, which was simply downloaded and uploaded into ThingLink. And then we could start adding in our own presentation links and also further video to engage the audience because, of course, we want this to be available afterwards so that people can really understand the information. So people can simply click on a hotspot and they could see a video, the text, which opens up into immersive reader so that it can be changed into over 80 different languages. And you've also got a call to action button that could take you to further resources. And then we've used our tour tag to simply take you to another thing link which has um, further information about that particular example. So lots of information there and lots of different media created in one place. And ideally, no one ever needs to leave the page and it's gonna be there for them after the presentation has concluded. So this can be a complete tool to use. And of course, if you've got multiple types of information in one thing link, you can click on the bottom and you can search amongst all the scenes as well. So people can skip to slides, if you like, or other parts of the presentation seamlessly. So we hope that's given you some ideas for your presentation. Remember, you can use colored icons so that they can be in keeping with the theme of your presentation. And of course, you're showing your own creativity in presenting lots of types of information in a really accessible way.